Yeah, some people just don't want to see it's this easy. Yeah. We may have upset the interwebs a little bit, but you ready to do number two, the unexpected? Yeah, we're going to take the wiring and flip it straight on its head and definitely change things. So let's check it out. So in the previous video, we talked about kind of the old school way of doing things. And it's just that the way you think is you put the power supply first and feed the light and feed the next light. And I put all my node MCUs in this spot to feed the various strands. After in Discord, and I probably just butcher his name. So, but we kind of came up with his name as the Dr. Pixel popper or the Node MCU popper, but that's for many other reasons. And he showed us an idea, and it, man, it really makes a difference. And I'm so excited to show exactly how to do this. And just to show a, a quick test picture of the light strands, we set up two light strands, identical hardware, identical Node MCU, identical power supply, everything, and we put the two strips side by side and the bottom one is hooked up the old way and the top one is hooked up the new way, all without doing extra injections. If you remember in the previous video, we showed how voltage drop works or you don't want it to work, where we had the multiple neighborhoods and the single water tower. Basically, we had before, and I'll use a better prop this time. Here's your water tower, and the water pressure comes in, goes to your first neighborhood, and then goes over and goes to the second neighborhood. And that's in the typical way of thinking. Well, in this situation, we, of course, we do need the Node MCU, and we had it running off of 12 volts, which, by the way, if you do get one and I did leave the links down below and there are a bunch of Node MCUs. Do make sure, again, it has the AMS1117 and also the CP2102 as the ones I linked. Do not get the stupid fatter ones with the CH340G. There were some people had some overheating issues. They were not getting up to the 100 Celsius, but they were getting up 60 Celsius or something. And I found that these get maybe to 35 to 40 under load with the 12 volts. But even with this solution, we're going to run them with less than 12 volts. So they even run even cooler. So we are hooking this up to the D4 pin as W led once. And these are the little male looking DuPont jumper wires. And again, we'll probably just put this in our little simple little project box in our typical setup is the female plug is the start and typically you would hook your power supply and everything on this side and the data does make a difference the data comes from the node mcu the data needs to go to this plug through to here to this one then on down the road you can't really change that well we're going to change where the power comes in how about if we go and be a good city planner and we move the water tower into the middle between the two neighborhoods. And that way, each of the neighborhoods get equal water pressure. Now, of course, you could do this with, say, like we did in our test, we did eight or nine and we put we tried to even it out and put them where the water tower was in the middle and then we had our four or five lights and our four or five lights over here four or five I guess bunches of lights these are 50 pixel strands how do you power your node MCU well it's actually this simple simply take the plug and I am using red for my voltage 
positive. And I'll simply plug it into the connector here. And the data is the middle pin. And I'll plug it into here. Now this is not going to be waterproof, of course. So do take consideration. And then I'll plug in my ground. Now, guess what? You know, they talk about level shifters and long runs. How long is your run now? You can even get these shorter. You can get a three or four inch jumper wires and have a super short run. That way you don't ever have to deal with that trick of doing sacrificial pixels or whatever and make your eyes glaze over. This is this simple, even easier than I showed before. Simply take your Note MCU, put it on your first one. We'll put this over here to the left. This is the output of the first strand. It has the little male plug right here. Now, these wires, if you are not going to use them in between your strands, you do need to take care of snipping them off, maybe snip them at different lengths so they don't ever touch each other, or put some type of maybe liquid electrical tape or some type of grease that won't come off. Just you don't want these to ever ground out or anything. And same thing you do have over here. Don't just let them hang out and possibly the wind blow and they touch something or they touch each other and then you shorted out your power supply and then you can't figure out why your lights don't work. We'll plug this one in together. Now, what we'll do is take our power supply wire and this is still 12 volts. In my test, I use some little Wago 221s. The, I use the three conductor ones. And then you're basically tying in power into the middle here. So what happens, and it's more of kind of what I call that balance T lighting, you have the voltage come in in the middle and that way it gives an even distribution to this strand and this strand in strands on the left and right. That way you don't have to worry about injecting down the way. And then since you are feeding the DC voltage somewhat in our feeble brains of thinking about this is you're feeding DC voltage backwards to here, but that in turn, what happens is now you're gonna have a little bit of voltage drop here. So now you may not be feeding this 12 volts. You may be feeding this 10 volts, which will even make it even the AMS 117 even run cooler. So now the data will come from here and go all the way down, but yet your voltage goes out. It's that simple. And of course you still can do this same thing as we talked about in some of the comments is there was the ESP32 and I'll leave this link down below as well because if you are doing a lot of lights you probably want to use the ESP32 because it has more processor power. So that's all all we have on the bench really here. If you got any questions we'll leave the discord chat down below. You can come join us in there and ask some questions or you can shoot a comment down below, show us a like or even a dislike. Well, let's go check out the real world examples on the floor in my living room that I made a mess of. For a typical situation, you'll have the power supply, you'll have your Node MCU in the project box, and then you'll run a wire over, and then you'll inject straight into your first strand, and then you'll just keep daisy chaining all the way down and as you go down, and we do have these at lower brightness, you get voltage drop. Because basically, like we talked about before, you just don't have enough pressure to get all the way down to the end. So this strand, you have your Node MCU. And then you actually power it straight off the lights. There's no power supply at the end beginning or the end of the strand. Now this would be the beginning of the strand. So what happens is actually the power supply, which is, this is 12 volt, is here and it feeds into the middle of the strand. And we just put some Wago connectors. And so what happens is now the power 
goes in the middle of the strand and then goes that way and then goes this way and it back feeds DC voltage all the way back to the node MCU. And then the node MCU makes the data for the lights and goes all the way and addresses all the lights all the way down the strand. And then you have a very uniform light strand without having to do injection down there, injection in the middle, then injection over here. And you don't have that dimming effect if you have a long strand. So, didn't see that coming, did you? Well, we didn't either. And guess what? There's no outro in this one. Well, wait, this is an outro. Well, y'all take care. Who's sandcastling? Who's sandcastling? That's mine. It's yours? Yeah, don't step on it. Oh. All right. You a pro wave rider? It's a big one coming. You ready for it? You ready for it? Ready for it? Kick. Go. Go. Man. Maybe this one will do it. It's a big one coming. Oh, this one is going to do it. Go. Close to the sun